Cooperop is a free open source fluid thermophysical property database like RefProp. And you can install Cooperop library in several programming applications. I've provided a link in the description below this video on how to install Cooperop in MATLAB and Excel with examples using organic runtime cycle. Hello everyone and welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to install and use free CoolProp Fluid Property Library in PyCharm IDE for Python. You will also learn how to call CoolProp Fluid Property functionalities and mixtures in PyCharm IDE. Let's jump into this quickly. So this is my PyCharm IDE for Python opened. If you don't have PyCharm installed on your computer, I've also provided a link in the description below this video on how to install PyCharm on your computer. So let's quickly go to open up a new project. So you come to file here and then you go to new project. And then this is our new project environment. We need to fill in the information we need to use to identify that project. So let's call this project um, Cool prop test. So let's call it. Um, so I'll change this to Python cool prop test. And then we come to this place to set up the location of the file. So where is the destination of the file? So you could select on this to change the destination of the file. And for me, I'm happy with where it is. So I'm going to select the OK button. And then here is your base interpreter. So you could select any interpreter that you already have in your system, whether you have Python 2.7, 3.9, 3.8, whatever Python that you have, you just need to specify the Python you want to run the group prop on. So I'm going to use Py Python 3.8. And here, if you select inherit global site packages, so what it will, what will happen is um, it will pick up all the site packages of your previous um, models you've developed in Python or in PyCharm environment. And if you say make available to other projects, if you check this box, then whatsoever that you set up in this new um, PyCharm model we are developing will also be made available to other projects that you want to. So for now, I'm not going to check this box. I will just leave it that way. I want to set up new projects, new for new model. So I need to make sure that the part I have here is correct. So um, yeah, so um, that's what it should be. Then um, once you're happy with the setup, you can now uh, create a new project. So here is, is asking me if I want to overwrite this window or I want to create a new window. So I'll just go ahead and overwrite this window, this window. I'll select this window. If you want to make it a new window, you, you're free to do whatever you want. But for this, I'm going to select this window. So it's not creating the virtual environment for our model. And this is our new project. So next we need to go quickly to open the file to create a Python file. So I come here, I want to create a Python file and let's call this again, um, cool prop test, cool prop test. And then I select Python file. So this is my um, file set up now. So we could go ahead quickly to install Cooprop. So to install Cooprop, you come to File and then you go to Settings. And then once you select Settings, you have the option to change the appearance of your PyCharm window. So I just come here quickly to Project and then I click on this drop down menu and then I go to Python interpreter. And once I come to Python interpreter, I already have pip installer, which allows us to install Python packages in Python and in PyCharm environment. Um, so um, I come here down to this plus sign here and I select the plus sign. And here we have list of different packages that you can install on your model. 
So I'll quickly type in Kuprop. And once I tap that in, I would select it to install. So I come here, install package, and it has successfully installed. To enhance my Kuprop functionalities, I could also install some other packages that would enhance the functionality of Kuprop. So one of those um, packages is this in Kuprop. So I can select these. Um, so this one is a Python engineering unit wrap, wrapper around the Kuprop project. So I could just go ahead and install this. And the final package I would want to install is called SciPy. So I come here and I type in SciPy. So that's it here, SciPy. SciPy is a Python package for mathematical and scientific computation. This will enhance Kuprop functionality since the fluid property models require some level of computation. So I just go ahead and install SciPy. Again, I come here, install package. And if you look here, it's showing you that the package is installing. And then we are all set now. So we have to go check um, if the Kuprop has been properly installed and is able to give us values. So let's go. So we close this. And then we select here is a list of all the packages we have now installed for this model. So I could now select OK. And then I go ahead to call my Kupro functionality. So I just say from. So this is the way to call a Kupro package into this model. So from here now, you can now go ahead and start using the Kupro syntax and call up your fluid. So I'll just show you a typical example. So I could come here, I want to get my value of CP. So I could call this CP equal prop C. Then I want to find my specific heat property at constant pressure. So which is represented as C. Then I specify the temperature. I enter value for the temperature. Then I specify the pressure. The value for my pressure. And then I specify the fluid I'm interested in. So let's say I'm interested in nitrogen. And that's it. So I can now print CP. So I can now run this program. So I come here to run. And then I select run. And then I select this. And then it runs for me here. So here is the value of CP at this temperature and at this pressure. Please subscribe and hit the notification icon to see more of my weekly videos. Thank you. Bye for now.